In game theory, normal form is a description of a game. Unlike extensive form, normal form representations are not graphical per se, but rather represent the game by way of a matrix. While this approach can be of greater use in identifying strictly dominated strategies and Nash equilibria, some information is lost as compared to extensive form representations. The normal form representation of a game includes all perceptible and conceivable strategies, and their corresponding payoffs, for each player. In static games of complete, perfect information, a normal form representation of a game is a specification of players' strategy spaces and payoff functions. A strategy space for a player is the set of all strategies available to that player, whereas a strategy is a complete plan of action for every stage of the game regardless of whether that stage actually arises in play. A payoff function for a player is a mapping from the cross-product of players' strategy spaces to that player's set of payoffs of a player, i.e., the payoff function of a player takes as its input a strategy profile and yields a representation of payoff as its output. An example, the matrix to the right is a normal form representation of a game in which players move simultaneously and receive the payoffs as specified for the combinations of actions played. For example, if player 1 plays top and player 2 plays left, player 1 receives 4 and player 2 receives 3. In each cell, the first number represents the payoff to the row player, and the second number represents the payoff to the column player. Other representations often, symmetric games are represented with only one payoff. This is the payoff for the row player. For example, the payoff matrices on the right and left below represent the same game. Uses of normal form. Dominated strategies The payoff matrix facilitates elimination of dominated strategies, and it is usually used to illustrate this concept. For example, in the prisoner's dilemma, we can see that each prisoner can either cooperate or defect. If exactly one prisoner defects, he gets off easily and the other prisoner is locked up for good. However, if they both defect, they will both be locked up for a shorter time. One can determine that cooperate is strictly dominated by defect. One must compare the first numbers in each column, in this case 0 greater than minus 1 and minus 2 greater than minus 5. This shows that no matter what the column player chooses, the row player does better by choosing defect. Similarly, one compares the second payoff in each row, again 0 greater than minus 1 and minus 2 greater than minus 5. This shows that no matter what row does, column does better by choosing defect. This demonstrates the unique Nash equilibrium of this game is sequential games in normal form. These matrices only represent games in which moves are simultaneous. The above matrix does not represent the game in which player 1 moves first, observed by player 2, and then player 2 moves. Because it does not specify each of player 2's strategies in this case. In order to represent this sequential game we must specify all of player 2's actions, even in contingencies that can never arise in the course of the game. In this game of player 2 has actions, as before, left and right. Unlike before he has four strategies, contingent on player 1's actions. The strategies are, left if player 1 plays top and left otherwise, Left if player 1 plays top and right otherwise. Right if player 1 plays top and left otherwise. Right if player 1 plays top and right otherwise. On the right is the normal form representation of this game. General formulation. In order for a game to be in normal form, we are provided with the following data. There is a finite set P of players, which we label 1, 2, M. Each player K in P has a finite number of pure strategies. A pure strategy profile is an association of strategies to players. That is an m-tuple such that a payoff function is a function whose intended interpretation is the award given to a single player at the outcome of the game. Accordingly, to completely specify a game, the payoff function has to be specified for each player in the player set P equals 1, 2, M. 
Definition. A game in normal form is a structure where, is a set of players, is an m-tuple of pure strategy sets, one for each player, and is an m-tuple of payoff functions.